Hi everybody, I'm back. <laughs> and so in this video, we're gonna talk about the application and the things that go into it. So I kind of already gave a brief overview about it, but we're gonna kind of delve more into depth with what this application requires for the pre-nursing students, especially because this is the focus of the majority of the pre-mentor meetings in their sophomore year. So if we scroll, like I said before, I literally do everything based off of this website. So down here, we have application requirements, basically everything you need to know. So drop down menu, personal demographics and GPA, um, holistic admissions. This I spend a lot of time here um, talking about life experiences and volunteering experience and working experiences, saying that all of these play into what it means for them to be a nurse and how important that is. Um, I also highlight this experience verification form just because that's how they're going to get verified that they did that experience and it um, hopefully it'll open up but it basically here shows um, that like it gives them to their supervisor it shows that they've completed that aspect of the, the application with holistic admissions. Now this is where a lot of students use peer mentors and it goes it's a recorded video interview and all the information that they need to know is right here. Um, it says applicants will provide a link to a recorded interview lasting less than three minutes answering the following three questions. Now these questions do vary. I've seen them changed I think once in the last two years. Um, so it goes through and it kind of it tells the three things that are important to them um, to the nursing program and what they're looking for in their students. Um, and so I um, and after they complete the video add it to Vimeo or YouTube and we'll sublink the link as part of their application. So we wanna make sure, uh, we wanna make sure the student's aware of like the requirements of that. Like, okay, what, like, what questions am I answering? What's the time length? And what I always, always do when people have questions about the video interview is I, I'll show you. I go to YouTube and I go to YouTube here and I search up Dixie State University nursing program and what we'll see is that here you have all these different videos of students that apply to the nursing program that you could watch and you get to see what they get to do what how they answer those questions and all, so on and so forth and usually that answers any questions that students have um, and i always offer if they want to come in with their script or come in with a video um, for me to look at to critique them that's something that i've noticed that students who are who want have that option it's really useful for them and makes them feel supported um, yeah and I do that with every single student that asks me I show them the YouTube video and the, the YouTube channel and say hey like if you just google it it'll be there <laughs> um, so that's what I do with the vid video interview and sometimes I'll talk about my experience interviewing Luckily, I did not have to do a video interview and I am usually interviewing in person. Um, but currently, like because of COVID-19, at least this year or the last couple cycles, it's changed. Um, but this is a, an opportunity for them to showcase who they are rather than just the numbers and the letters of grades and that sort of thing. So I always encourage them to be professional, to dress well, to you know, make sure that the edits are, you know, professionally done and that they're not just reading off of a script, that they are, you know, well-versed, that they're very articulate in what they're trying to come across, because you do only have three minutes. That's kind of my spiel in the vid video interview. The next thing I talk about a lot of is the HESI. So the HESI A2 exam is the exam, let me scroll down a bit, is that's required for students at Dixie State University. So everything, all the links here link up to all the different types of information that students will ever need to the HESI. Um, uh, as you can see, it's open year round at the DSU Professional Testing Center. Students literally can just call them and be like, hey, I wanna schedule a test. I believe it's $65 to take the test. Um, and it goes, like students all have to take it at some, some point. And a lot of them get really, really psyched out by it. So if they come early enough, I always suggest for them to take the nursing HESI prep course. And I suggest them to take this the semester they're going to take the HESI, the semester before they apply is another one. 
So they take this class, it's taught by Dr. Scott, one of the professors in the nursing department. So it's also a good opportunity for them to get to know her um, and get to know kind of the nursing process and how to learn and how to study for these exams. It's, that's why I suggest the class. I strongly always suggest the class, um, not just because it's UHS, but because I wish I had that class. Um, but then I also tell them that the class isn't always necessary if they can't fit into their schedule or some other thing and that it is okay to self prep as well and I always suggest um, if the student is a um, usually gets really good grades like a really an A A minus that they probably need two weeks of full-time studying before they take it um, but again it's up to the students um, a lot of them a lot of things I suggest highly are just the exam prep books that we have that you get for free via the HESI prep course, but if you are in the, um, you could buy them on Amazon as well for super, super cheap. And it's usually, I think, 25 to 50 bucks for a prep course or for a prep book. And I always suggest that as well. Um, but that's kind of most of the questions I get on the HESI. A lot of it is um, exactly what's on it. And I, I had to look it up before. Let's see what this says. Um, yeah, so this links you to the testing center um, to schedule it. And then um, if they live out of the area, they could proctor at a different institution. That's a little bit more in depth for the student, but I always say that's an op option. And then here's the instructions before testing. And this is where I highlight, it's like, okay, how if, if, when you begin the HESI exam before testing, make sure you, you know, call, make an appointment, get your results online. Then you have these testing modules um, that tells you exactly what. Um, and it gives you a step-by-step -step guide to how to take the HESI. So usually I direct students in this direction as well. Then I also, there's application fee, $50. And then this gives you the dates um, and the, you know, um, the kind of intricacies of the application itself. And so that goes all right here in this top bit. And that's a lot. So it usually takes me a minute to go through them in depth and answer questions as they come along but then I'll come down to application deadlines when the applications are due. And these haven't, these change per year, so I always make sure to check my calendar. <laughs> um, but show them this, especially if we're getting close to the deadline or if we're a little bit further away. But this is kind of a nice important thing. Um, and they always update this, which is really nice. It tells you exactly when applications are due, when the notifications will come out, when your acceptance agreement needs to be signed, when your grades, that for your prereqs and all that stuff needs to be submitted beforehand. And um, when you need to get all your CPR and CNA, all that stuff done, that's all here, which is super, super nice because I, I didn't know this was here when I was applying and it would have helped me kind of structure everything more. So this is the application um, that I always look up um, when I'm talking to students that are applying. And usually I spend this time with them Let's say I have a student applying, was, was supposed to apply in March. I would hopefully they would come in earlier on in the semester, like in January, and I could go through this with them, if not before. I really do try to just talk with the freshmen and people early on in the applicate or in the cycle about this, just so they know what they're getting into. And that's why I oftentimes go over in my first spiel, like, hey, make sure you're you know when the HESI is, make sure you know when this is, just so that students can understand what's coming up and they can plan on it. But some students, like I've had two or three students take the HESI the day before the nurse, before the applications do. And I, I personally would never do that, but again, it's up to the student what they want. And I, all we can do is guide and suggest based on our experiences. Again, as always, I always direct them to Amber and Alice just to be sure like, hey, I mean, I'm just a student like you. I'm a peer mentor. I'm not your advisor. And so I always make sure to say that just so that um, we don't take, like, we, we aren't responsible for that as much as they want us to be sometimes. And so it's really good for the students to kind of reference back to April and um, to Alice and Amber because those guys are kind of your, they, they're, that's their job is to get you into nursing school. And that's my job too. But I'm just your peer and they'll know professionally what else needs to happen. Um, so that's kind of this portion of the application and that's the application itself actually. Um, from here you just press start application and have them apply. 
Um, so yeah, that's <laughs> that's that, and um, let's move on. <laughs>